to Anisha Shake, and I'm a programmer. I create lines of amazing programs, and I make robots move. I have for the past eight years. The first thing I could tell you about myself is that I'm not normal. I'm more than that. I'm extraordinary. I'm friendly, and I'm a Girl Scout, which means I'm the cherry on top. The second thing I could tell you about myself is that I love sugar. Anything with sugar in it is gone within seconds. I got three things for you guys today. How Inspire Academy wasn't what it seemed. My inspiration and the story of her life. And what she had to go through to become my inspiration. This speech is about a person who I have inspired and had admired my entire life. She's very important to me. I've read so many movie I've read so many books and watched so many movies on her. So who's this person I've been following around my entire life? Her name's Mary Curie. And she is the youngest of five children in the Sladowski household. Her dad was a maths and physics teacher. And she wasn't rich. She was pretty poor. Her father worked hard to pay for their kids' schooling. When everyone graduated, he had to pay for the colleges. And Mary Curie and her older sister, Bronia, wanted to go abroad and learn more. Her father enrolled her into the University of Warsaw, but unfortunately, because of the lack of money, she wasn't able to go. So she had to enroll in floating universities. They're informal little groups where they taught you anything, any subject that you enrolled in. Unfortunately, Mary Curie didn't like these. She felt that she wasn't getting the education that she wanted. Her dad was sad to see her potential wither away at these colleges. So Mary Curie, made a deal with her sister. She agreed to help pay for her sister's college before moving on for her own studies. Bronia went abroad, and for five years, her sister worked hard to support her. She worked as a governess. She worked as a tutor, anything that came with a paycheck. And eventually, she helped Bronia finish her studies. She finally got into Sobronia in Paris, a school. And she was so excited. She worked very hard at this school. She threw herself in her studies. She didn't take care of herself, and she got sick a lot. She didn't even have a proper roof over her head. At this university, though, she got a master's in physics, and the year after, she got a degree in mathematics. The college was so happy that they gave her a little commission to study anything she wanted. She needed a lab. So her colleague got her a lab with Pierre Curie. And together, they shared a lab. And they worked on two separate topics. She was interested in x-rays, while he was interested in magnetic fields. Together, they worked in the same lab, and they did two separate topics. Mary Curie found something very interesting in x-rays. She found something called uranium. And she found this fascinating. She found out her theory was that uranium rays were different because of their atomic structure. They go undeterred no matter what condition they're put under. And she found this very interesting. Pierre Curie and Marie Curie got married that year also. Pierre Curie left his work in magnetic fields and came over to help her. Together, they found things in the radioactivity substances that won them the Nobel Prize. Mary Curie worked very hard for years, and she found polonium and radium. Those are the two discoveries that she is known for today. She won her first Nobel Prize in 1903. This is a day when she made history, when she became the first female to ever win the Nobel Prize. With this prize money, she was able to get better technology to do better studies. And she was thrilled. Around this time, Pierre Curie died when he stepped in front of a horse carriage. And she was devastated. She didn't want to do anything for days. But that didn't stop her. She got up, and she took over her husband's spot at the institution that she used to go to college at, Sobronia. And she became the institution's first female instructor. This was a big accomplishment for her. Around this time, World War I broke out. And she wanted to help. So she used what she knew about uranium rays and x-rays 
and she made little portable x-rays called little curies, and she sent them out to doctors. And they're able to look and find problems and help more people through these little curies. She's very helpful. She left many institutions behind and research facilities. She got fundings as she went around the world, and she gathered them. And they still stand today in Paris. Mary Curie had a very hard life. She documented all of her failures, and she never gave up. I'm inspired by this person because she did so much in her short life. She passed away because of prolonged exposure to radium. She used to carry test tubes of, this, or of these radium in her test lab, and she used to walk around. And she got exposed, so eventually she passed away. But she made many breakthroughs in her life. She's an amazing person, and one of the most well-known, admired person ever. There are many features I admire in this person. Some of them is that back then, males were the most common people you'd see in physics and chemistry and science. It's very rare to see a female. Despite this, Mary Curie never gave up. She kept working, and she won not one, but two Nobel Prizes. And she's the first person to ever do so. I admire her because she's very strong. No matter how many people told her that she couldn't do it, that she couldn't find radium, she never gave up. And I find this very inspiring. Mary Curie may have left this world, left this world but her story and her discoveries will never be forgotten. I would also like to talk about Boost Confidence Program. I was kind of intimidated about it in the beginning. But when I went to the classes, it was different. I was able to relate to the topics we were talking about. And it was eye-opening. With Boost program, I was able to do so much better overall in my speeches. If it wasn't for the Boost Confidence program, you'd see a completely different Venetia here today. And finally, I'd like to thank everyone. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me. And I'd like to thank Priya Auntie for helping me get here. And I'd like to thank you, Judge, for judging this event today. And finally, I'd like to thank the audience for listening and being patient with me. Thank you.